Hello, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to NK Canadian's Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over of the Notice of Non-Compliance and License Downgrade from the New York State Department of Motor Vehicle. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is basically a letter given by the DMV. It's basically if you don't do a medical certification every two years or a year, depending on your qualification, they will downgrade your commercial driving license and give you a restriction on it. So be very, very careful. If you're planning to drive a commercial vehicle, you need to do every year or two years, like I said, depending on what category you're in, you have to do a medical DOT certification by your doctor, approved by the DMV, of course. Uh, so what it says is, obviously you could see this postal ID, date, clients, your information, data, but make sure everything is correct. It will tell you that you're no longer medically certified to operate any commercial vehicle requiring a commercial driving license and a commercial learner's permit. Effective, they will tell you the date. Your New York State commercial driving license will be downgraded to a non-commercial driving license in Vehicle and Traffic Law Section 510, and your commercial learner's permit will also be cancelled. You, you're, and the reason they give you the cause right here, your U.S. Start medical certification has expired. And they tell you to avoid downgrade to your commercial driving license and or cancellation of your commercial driving license permit. You must submit a completely legible, unexpired U.S. Dart medical examination certificate to the U.S. Department of Motor Vehicle Examiner Certification Unit at the address listed on top of this letter. As you can tell, the address listed over here, right over here. And you could either call them or by fax in the letter at 518 486. 4421 or by emailing dmv.smcdlmedcertunit at dmv.ny.gov. Email them, it's much more quicker if you guys want to do that. We must receive your medical certification at least 20 days prior to the effective date of the license downgrade permit cancellation to allow for processing time and to prevent your downgrade cancellation from occurring. Once the downgrade cancellation occurs, the commercial document in possession will no longer be valid. Commercial driving are reminded that medical examination certification must be obtained, obtained from a U.S. certified medical examination unit. And this is the information right over here. And uh, to ensure that your medical certification has been updated, you can create an account on our DMV services as well. And they do help you out from there. So basically, reading all through this, you can read it on your own. Uh, so basically, what they're saying is this. If you are a commercial driver license holder, it could be for class C, class B, class A. And if you're driving in like outside of the outside of New York State, this is for New York State obviously, outside of New York State, let's say if you're going to New Jersey with a commercial vehicle or Connecticut or somewhere out of state, they usually require you to have a medical certification form. Even even your inside sometimes now they're becoming so much strict now they want you to have a medical certification uh, form now. Because if you don't have it then they, they would they're gonna come downgrade your license and put a restriction on it. And it's very simple, you just go to your doctor. Your doctor does a hearing test, eye test. Only those doctors that are approved by the DMV. Your med, uh, your insurance doesn't work. So if you have United Healthcare, some no insurance works with them for some reason. So you have to pay either big cash or your company pays it for you. Or your company sends it to you. If you're working for a school bus company that I know some people by experience, they send you to a place and you do it for free because the company pays it for you. You don't have to pay out of pocket. So that might play into a factor as well. So keep that in mind. So basically, this is what, what it is. If you're a CDL license holder, you're gonna do a medical DOT certification form every two years or a year. Uh, the reason I say a year or two years is because sometimes the doctor could say, you know what, I wanted you to do every yearly checkup because somehow your uh, your vision is, you're losing a, a sight vision of your right eye. So the doctor, rather than giving you two years, could give you one year. So it's usually up to two years, you know, like I said, but if something duplications needs are found with, with, the, with the doctor to the client, the doctor can do that. So keep that in mind. And it only has to be proved by the DMV that you can't just go to any doctor. It has to be proved by the DMV. DMV has certain doctors that they approved that you could go to. And usually the doctor's office will tell you like, you know, we do this or we don't do it. So keep that in mind as well. Other than that, that's about the letter. I just wanted to help people explain the letter a lot of people do ask questions about this uh, you know like they have questions like what are what, what you know what do I do you know they get confused so hopefully by me showing you in this video I could help you out as much as I could have uh, keep this in mind this is a letter they usually send it to you and if you don't receive it that's gonna be a bad thing because think about it. if you never received the letter you were never gonna know 
and if if you driving a commercial vehicle outside and actually they end up finding you your, your license CDL this expired um, your medical dot expired because you're supposed to have it on you uh, it could be a big problem because you know in the system it might show up in the DMV system but it doesn't show up you know you obviously you never know about it so keep that in mind there's some uh, key points to remember so uh, keep be very very careful uh, with this uh, with that said guys thank you again Wallace, for watching this short clip I hope that helped if you guys have any other questions common concern please comment like subscribe I'll try my best to help you guys out uh, clear any confusion that you have uh, with the uh, DMV in your state thank you again guys for watching this short video and I hope you guys enjoyed it